Hi, I'd like to give you a quick run through of Rank Hijack and how it works, along with a few examples of how you can use it to level the playing field for ranking and getting free traffic from Google. First, let me give you a super quick rundown of what we're actually doing here. Now, ranking your own sites has become more and more difficult over the last few years as Google gives preference to big, well-established authority sites. Parasite SEO, as it's called, is simply where you set up a page on one of these high authority sites with your own content to rank and grab the traffic for yourself. These kind of sites want and need your content, so it's perfectly legitimate and you're not going to get slapped by Google for doing this. The obvious example of this in action is YouTube. It consists entirely of content added by users. So if you're a video marketer using YouTube to rank your videos, you are already using Parasite SEO. The important point here is that YouTube isn't the only one. There are lots of other high authority sites that you can use to rank your content in the same way, taking advantage of their domain authority to generate traffic for your benefit. The basic process we follow is a series of simple steps. First, use Rank Hijack to find an opportunity in your niche or topic area and grab it for yourself. Then download the content, rewrite it better than before to make it unique, upload the new content to the same authority site as the original, point some backlinks at it, outrank the original, and grab all that free traffic for yourself. It really is as paint by the numbers as SEO gets. Now let's take a quick look around Rank Hijack itself. At the top of the page we have some quick totals of the opportunities currently in the database. As I'm recording this, there's over 126,000, but we are adding around five to 10,000 every day, so this number is growing rapidly. You can actually change what data is displayed by the system depending on what you find most useful using the change columns option here and just by ticking or unticking different items. You also have the option once you fine tune the settings to exactly what you want to save your current view and keep those settings so the next time you log back in you can click on load save view and those settings pop straight back up. Okay, so let's have a quick run through the data that we've currently got on screen. First of all, we have topic and subtopic. These are simply categories where you can drill down into a category that's relevant to your niche. So you're just pulling up the content that you're interested in. Next, we have the domain itself that the page is coming from, and you can see the authority of each of those domains next to it. You can see they are high authority domains. At the moment, we pull pages from WikiHow, Quora, Storyfy, Medium, and eBay Guide, but we will be expanding this list over the coming weeks. There are lots that we will be adding. Then we have the URL for the page itself, so you can see that if you hover over it, along with the title of the page, and the number of words in the content for that page, and the number of keywords that this particular page ranks for. Now, building a wormery or worm farm isn't a niche that I'm actually in at the moment, but if I wanted to see the exact keywords that this page is currently ranking for, I can click on that number and it will quickly download a text file for me. Let's open it up with the list of keywords that, that page ranks for. How easy and quick is that? And I'll show you more examples like that, including how to get the backlinks as well, once we look at the reserved function over here in a moment or two. But first, let's finish our run through the data that we've got on screen. We also have the number of Facebook shares that particular page has had. You can see some down here that have had some. Then we have the number of backlinks pointing out the page and the number of domains that those backlinks come from. Next, we have the ranking difficulty or citation flow score and the trust flow score. Uh, you'll notice when I hold the mouse over any of these icons, it brings up a little tooltip description of what each column is, uh, what the data represents. And the difficulty rankings basically gives you an idea of a score between 1 and 100 as to how difficult it's going to be to outrank that page. And as you can see, most of the pages, low levels of backlinks, easy to rank for. And the last two columns of data that I'm currently looking at or have displayed are the date that this particular page was researched and added to the database 
and the reserve button as well. You'll notice that's sticking off the end of the page. Uh, I could resize any of these columns to fit more things in if I wanted to. So squidging that up allows me to see the full reserve button. You can again do that with any of these columns so you can change the look of the page and the data that you're looking at to suit exactly your needs. Now there's actually a couple of different ways that you can use Rank Hijack to find opportunities to target and I'll cover them as quickly as I can for you. First of all, if you're just looking for new ideas for niches to target, then filtering the results by your chosen topic and then filtering down to those results with very few backlinks, in other words, the pages that are going to be easy to outrank, this can be a quick and easy way to target pages in niches and topics that you wouldn't have thought of otherwise. This will usually uncover some great golden nuggets for you. Let's do exactly that so you can see what I mean. First of all, let's filter down to all those pages with less than five backlinks. So all I do is pick the qualifier from the drop down list, put in the number, and it will take a second or two to reload the page with just those pages that have less than five backlinks to them. Now let's reorder the data by the number of keywords that the page is ranking for. So all I'm going to do is click on the top title area for that column and it will reorder it first of all from low to high. So I'll click on it again and it will now reorder it from high to low. So we have the pages with the highest number of keywords that they're ranking for up here at the top. Next, let's pick a specific topic. So I go to the filter option here. I'll untick select all and I'll go with health. And again, the data will resort itself so that we're just now looking at examples from the health topic area. Now, obviously, I could then pick a subtopic within health. Uh, let's say if I wanted to go specifically for weight loss and narrow down the results even further. But what I'm actually going to do is expand this column a bit so we can see more of the actual title. And you'll get an idea of the variety of different pages that we can use for inspiration in our own marketing. And how about this? The very first result we see, how to lose 10 pounds of fat a month, even if you have a slow metabolism, that's ranking for over 500 keywords. That's getting some solid traffic, free traffic from Google. It's had just 11 shares on Facebook, really not very many backlinks to it. Do you not think you could actually rewrite that copy, set up your own page, point some backlinks at it, and outrank it to start grabbing that traffic for your own business. And once you actually start scrolling through these results, you'll see all sorts of other opportunities that you can grab and go after and add to your traffic for your business. It really does give you those golden nuggets. It's like a brainstorming session without you having to do the work. It will come up with ideas for you that you just wouldn't have thought of otherwise. And the best part is the more you use Rank Hijack, the more ways you'll find of digging out high value ranking opportunities that you can use. Now let's hit refresh and look at a different way you can use Rank Hijack. Now if you've got a specific niche that you're already working in and you want to target a page in that niche, then a different option to filtering by the topic or subtopic is to pop the keyword itself into the field here under the title column header. Now this filters the results down to those pages that have this specific keyword in the title of the page. Now let's run through a few examples so you can get a clearer idea of what I mean. We'll start off with something fairly short tail as it were, just one word. Let's go with dog and see what results we get. Now remember, I haven't resorted the data in order of keywords or changed the number of backlinks that we're looking at or any other filters. We just pop the word dog in there and straight away I can see an example here, how to care for an English bulldog. Uh, that's probably a good example if you're in the dog niche. Um, and if I scrolled on down, you'd see there's lots of other examples of pages that you can target. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, what else we got here? What is that? How my French bulldog obsession led me to a Shopify store and accidentally build a brand. Now, is that person using this for marketing? I think they are. And they've not really got a lot of backlinks or shares. So that's something that's it's already ranking for 36 keywords. That's something you can target very, very easily. 
Now let's try a different keyword. Let's uh, go with something a little more specific. Let's go with guitar, if I can spell it correctly. So just type in guitar into that title field. It takes a moment or two to refresh the data. And here we go. And again, just the second one down, how to play a guitar in five minutes. I'd be very surprised if there weren't uh, digital products with affiliate programs available for something like that on Clickbank or JVZoo. But let's scroll on down and see what else we've got. Uh, there's a couple of good ones down here. Here we go. Uh, choosing the right acoustic guitar strings or how to tune a 6 or 12 string acoustic guitar. Again, these are ranking for a good number of keywords. They've got very few, if any, backlinks to them. You could grab that content, repurpose it, set up your own page and use that traffic, grab that traffic for your own offers. Okay, let's have a look at one more quick example. Let's go with camera and it'll just take a second or two to upload or update the data and again straight away I'm seeing opportunities that I like the look of how to choose a 360 degree camera that's a buying keyword 32 keywords it's ranking for uh, the quickest and easiest way to do a Facebook live using a proper camera uh, my ultimate camera setup for photography and video. All of these are terms where they're ranking for good keywords, buyer keywords. You can just grab that traffic for yourself. And I'm, I'm scrolling down the bottom because from memory there are a couple of other good ones down here. For instance, CCTV camera do-it-yourself installation guide. That's ranking for a whole bunch of keywords. That I know from experience is buyer traffic. I've got a site in that niche. Uh, what is a memory card? Does my digital camera need one? Do you think that person might be able to recommend some on eBay? or Amazon and make some money? I think so. So you can see, again, it's very, very quick and easy. You scroll through, you're going to find great opportunities, pages that you can target, build your own version and use that traffic for yourself. By now you're probably getting a very clear idea just how powerful Rank Hijack can be for you and your business. However, however you may also be thinking, hang on, with all the other people using Rank Hijack, aren't I going to end up competing with them potentially over the same pages? Well, we've got you covered on that as well. Your Rank Hijack membership comes with 100 credits to reserve pages for your own personal use. All you need to do is hit the reserve button and it pops them on your reserved pages page so that you are the only person with access to those particular pages. They're removed from the general members database so you won't end up competing with someone else for the same page. So now let's actually do that. I'm going to scroll down so I can get to the reserve button a bit easier. I'm going to click on reserve and move across to the reserved page where I can show you some of the advanced functions available in Rank Hijack. And you can see I've now reserved three out of my 100 credits available. And I'm just going to pause the video while I resize these different columns so we see what's going on a bit easier. Okay, so now I've resized things, we can see the extra functionality that you get over here on the right hand side on the reserved page. 
for your reserved URLs. First of all, you can download a copy of the content. So you've got that to hand, you just need to rewrite it, keep it unique, make it better, preferably make it longer longer as well because you'll probably rank higher quicker with longer content. You can also download the keywords. So if I click on this icon, it downloads a text file for me. Let's open that up. There we go. We've got all the keywords that that particular page is ranking for. Really quick and easy to grab them. And you can do exactly the same thing for the backlinks. So just hover over the icon and let's download the backlinks for this particular page. Open up the file and if we have a quick look through it, we can see that, for instance, this guy's got a backlink from the My Audi forum. So a backlink from a forum, uh, another one from a relevant site and a search one. So we can easily and quickly go and duplicate or replicate those backlinks, add some more and outrank that particular page and grab that traffic for our own use. The last icon is the option to remove one of your reservations to free up a credit so you can use it again. Now there are a few other advanced functions within Rank Hijack, but I'm gonna leave those as a surprise for when you join. There are full tutorials on how to get the most out of the system, as well as tutorials on how to do SEO and drive traffic and get backlinks. We have over 40 tutorial and training videos to make sure you get the most out of your Rank Hijack membership and start generating free targeted traffic to your offers today. And on that note, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the members area.